how are you all doing i hope you guys are all doing fine i'm also doing so very well <laughs> you can already see i'm so excited i like i'm super excited not for myself but for my sister <laughs> yeah first of all let me talk about my outfit first this was the outfit i was fighting to get from my tailor and finally i've gotten it and i'm like no i'm not keeping it i'm wearing it out this evening yeah so like i said i'll be taking my sister to dinner so that's exactly what we are doing we're on our way to her dream place you know she told me a story about that place when she was in her hometown a friend of hers traveled there and when she came back she was talking all about that place and that is her dream place to visit so maybe her dream will be fulfilled you know everybody has a dream and her own dream is to visit that place and you know she told me about one dish that she has never ever tasted and that is what she's willing to taste today so this will be a surprise so if you want to know where it is and what food it is just come along with me and let's go but before then we are still on the Oxford streets and I want to show you some of the things you can do here on the streets before we proceed to my sister's favorite place first and foremost thing that people love to do on the streets is to chill like I told you yesterday, the place is full of a lot of chilling places. We have a lot of pubs, like lots of um, bars, hotels, uh, casinos, shopping malls, and all those kind of places for chilling. So for the number one thing, if you want to chill, when you're in Accra, in central Accra, the Oxford Street, it's your go-to place. Number two, okay? One of the things that you would love to do to yourself, like to save yourself from hectic transport problems, is to reside uh, right here on the Oxford streets when you are in Accra. You know, this is in the center of the city. Okay, so you residing here, it's easier for you to locomote or move from one place to another. Do you understand you can reside right here in one of the hotels here on the Oxford streets right here in the center of Accra Osu okay so one of the best hotels that I can recommend for you is the Urbano Hotel it is right in front of us so we are moving towards that place and when we get there I will surely show you guys okay you know this place is where a lot of experts and foreigners when they come to Accra and they are in the city they are in central Accra most people love to visit this place do you understand because they have a lot of African fabrics here like um, souvenirs that are African made they have a lot of them here so people love to you know especially foreigners they love to come on the streets to have a feel of those like the dresses the carvings if you are someone who loves to eat fries then the other street is so yet again a place for you to come because we have the KFC you know yesterday we went to the Frankie's hotel that's also another place for you to just you know you want to have lunch yeah <laughs> the Oswald Street has it all it has it all if you are looking for a place that you want to be where you wouldn't struggle to just do your banking business yes the Oswald Street has almost all the banks in Ghana and the major telecom communications has almost all the branches here on the streets yeah like i told you we get a lot of experts coming here so you can see for yourself we are here to buy souvenirs like i was telling you all these places are for souvenirs so these experts love to be on the streets whether in the evening or in the afternoon or the morning you will always find them here so those are some of the things you can do here right on the Oxford streets okay yeah we have the wooden shop there which is one of uh, 
the most authentic fabrics here in Ghana. Yeah, I don't really know whether it's a Ghanaian brand, but they are African prints, okay? Yeah, people really love to patronize the wooden fabrics as well. So let's summarize this up. Like I said, the things that you can do in the Oxford on the Oxford streets yeah it's easier for you to do shoppings because you have the shop right here and other mini shopping centers here as well we've got all the banks here no matter how whether you are using your card whatever the banks are here to serve you so and if you're looking for somewhere to reside it's not you if you're looking for someone to decide to reside um yeah you don't really have a problem all the hotels are here right the best one here right now is the Arbano hotel which is right in front of us i'm going to tell you another thing you can do here on the Oxford street that you can meet i will not be like you the Oxford street has the best streets food i want to be like to you right we have the nyamachoma if you are from kenya then you know what is nyamachoma that is um teaching <laughs> kebab and um there is one popular street food here very popular you see cars parking here to buy it rice every evening you can see all these places this place in particular and that's one and we have wache too all these are precious street foods that people don't miss this rice oh my goodness you guys that is something else you can't afford to miss on the oswald streets and let me tell you one thing if you want the best street bar here is this particular one let me just turn the camera and show you you see that is how that place looks like container <laughs> you cannot miss that on the Oswald street yeah the street bar the most popular street bar this street bar was popping in those days you guys i'll not even lie to you <laughs> that is the urbano hotel that i'm talking about yeah i hope you guys can see it and we also have the number one oswald street hotel that's a very luxury hotel that's a luxury hotel here on the street so if you are looking for that luxurious place oh the number one oswald streets is your go-to place see that's the airpando hotel but the number one also streets they do not allow cameras there so i'm not sure if i can show you but let's just uh let's just walk towards that place and see if i can show you that the number one also street hotel is owned by cheddar <laughs> the independent candidate political candidate here in ghana oh so guys welcome to ghana <laughs> look so like i told you we have all the major bank branches here this is the sg ssb bank branch their head office is on the ring road i'm still really excited because i'm taking my niece to her dream place to taste her dream food so come along with me so this is around the roundabout and this is the number one Oswald Street as I was showing you. You guys, how do you check my outfit of today? <laughs> Leave a comment and let me know what you think about my outfit, okay? Yeah, so guys, now I'm just going to pause this video here right now because all eyes are on me so let me just pause this video and let's get to my sister's 
favorite favorite destination for you guys me i'm really excited you guys you know everybody has dreams and her own dream is to go to that place okay so today one of her dreams is being fulfilled i'm super super so guys come along with me let's go i don't know if you can see the billboard the guy on that billboard is the owner of the number one Oswald Streets. His name is Kwame. Nana Kwame Bedeako. Let's go, guys. Come along. This rush hour, like I told you, the people are just by the roadside <laughs> struggling for a vehicle to go home. Wow, it's not easy. <laughs> the struggle is real. <laughs> guys me i'm super excited do you understand i'm really really excited i don't really know why i'm just excited for my niece although she i don't know she doesn't show any excitement just quiet i told you she's always gloomy than me i don't really give a damn i just i'm gonna be smiling and laughing from ear to ear yeah, because life is just one. One. So, yeah, me, I'm just trying for her to be happy. So, anything she wants, if I can afford it, why not? Why not? Yeah, actually, we could have bought a taxi or something, but you know, I just want us to walk for her to have a feel of the place. We didn't really actually choose the right path, but it's okay. So where we are going is one of the best reviewed in its own category. So guys, I hope you guys love, love it. Yeah, so come along with me. Finally, she gets to visit her dream place. Guys, we are getting closer to that place. We are getting closer. I hope you guys are anticipating. <laughs> I'm not sure we are getting closer guess the name if you know where exactly by now if you are living in Ghana you might have noticed where we are right now so you can leave a comment let me know where you think we are going <laughs> hey <laughs> Father, throw Welcome to the Hardy's Uncle. Let's go. Hey, Auntie. Auntie, let's go. So, guys, this is where we are coming. It's called the Honey Circle. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is where my sister told me. She just gave me the name, and I'm, and I'm like, okay, why not? Let me bring her there. It's her dream place. Hello. You want to search my bag? Yeah. Hey. My bag? Yeah. Why? If you're coming to a restaurant, you have to check your bag? Yeah. I didn't miss it. Huh? I didn't miss it. Oh, but this is not my first time here. Nobody has asked. Nobody has asked. That's the reason why. Alright, you can check. You can put your hand in. No. That is nothing. Oh, I should remove the trees for you. That's all. Thank you. My priest, are you going to have to go inside the down bag? I don't know which is more convenient. Well, you must, if you have gone inside, you cannot take the pictures. I can't take pictures inside. Hey! It's today the first time you are telling me this. Is there a long time? Is there a long time? Ah, but I've seen a lot of. It was pictures that I saw online that brought me here. Yes. It was pictures that people posted. Then I saw that the place is nice. Some of them. 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 Maybe somebody has a wife in the house. Ah. Take a picture. And I said, hey, so we are going out to take a picture. It was too bad. Oh, that's why it's been, that's why we don't allow. Okay. 
Yeah, I understand. Like me, maybe I can get someone to me and go and tell my husband. You are married? Yes. It's just a casual friend of all right, I understand. Thank you. Really? So, please don't ask what are the services that you have here. Is it a hotel? We have no. a restaurant. We have a, a, a casino. We have a all right guys so this is how this place looks like uh, okay there's no one here crown hello okay guys welcome to my niece's dream destination or dream place <laughs> Guys, tricky situation as I brought my sister to a train a restaurant. <laughs> Very tricky situation. Exactly what she wants to eat. Something that she says she hasn't tasted before. And she was so excited to be tasting it today. We are here and they do not have it. But basically, this is how the party support looks like. That's the view when you are up here. We are just opposite the Ghana National Fire Service headquarters. That's what is right. This is how everything looks. The honeysuckle! <laughs> but this is such a tricky situation. But you know, all is well that ends well. So we just, you know, look through the menu and choose, you know, whatever. Today is not really busy. I think the place is busier on um, Fridays. Fridays they do have a live session here where they play live bands, music and all that. So when it comes to the honeysuckle, one of the things that you really, really find pertinent to this place is that uh, you know, a lot of people come to watch football matches here in the honeysuckle. Like you can see behind me, they have two screens, you know. You can watch two different matches here. So whenever there is a football match or like all these European matches going on, you see a lot of guys here. When you come here, you not even have space. And um, they also have some way that you can play the pool. I don't know if I'm mentioning it right. Am I saying the right thing? But I know there is a pool center where you can play the pool. Yeah, those are some of the things that you can do here. It's a really a very serene place. So when you read online the reviews, yeah, their reviews are really, you know, in favor of them. You can just find uh, just a handful of people who might say negative things about them. But today is a tricky situation for us because uh, what my sister was interested in is the pizza and no pizza today. So it's a very tricky situation one of the things to this place is known for is that it's uh they serve english dishes someone said online that it's an english pub i wanted pizza and they said no pizza no pizza no pizza you stop no no or oh, oh, you don't do you do by short in system in the system oh. no in our ah. oh, guys <laughs> we don't even know what to choose guys <laughs> Because the main reason we came was for her to taste a pizza. But now we are in such a tricky situation. <laughs> so we are torn between two, like noodles and rice. So do I have to open yours too for you? Can't you just do it yourself? This is um, Ginger Ali, Bell Ginger Ali. It, this is my first time. I don't know how it tastes. So 
they just added some ice blocks to the cup and we pour the drink inside so what we are coming to do is to just you know as usual <laughs> we do a toast <laughs> then we taste it for you guys to see the toast is for this girl to learn how to laugh she's always frowning always frowning they, you know when you frown too much you look like an old lady even though you are not old <laughs> We're laughing always, ever. <laughs> there is nothing special. <laughs> it's just a normal ginger drink. <laughs> nothing special. When we came, there was nobody here. You know, now that people have closed from work, they are now trooping in. As you're here, every minute somebody enters this place, and you know that they have one thing you have to know about this place is they have several places that um, customers can sit and relax. Okay, so this is the main bar area, but they have another bar area downstairs. If you don't want to be here, where you hear a lot of noise just go to those rooms and you know have your time as you can see around you can see uh there are a lot of people in the background you can hear a lot of noise they also have screens a lot of screens everywhere you go and the screens are showing different matches like if you are interested in a particular match you will get to watch that match so thank you so much for watching our video up to this end i'll just see you in another video hey oh oh